Welcome back. You're watching the Morning Edition. Douglas Herbert is with us now for a brief look at our business top stories at this hour. First up, one of Toyota's subsidiaries is recalling almost 275,000 vehicles. Daihatsu Motor Company says it's recalling the cars due to defects, including a loose or missing part. Doug. Yeah, Marcus, this is a recall at Daihatsu, a subsidiary of Toyota, as you said. It's 51% owned by, to by Toyota. It specializes in mini cars. Now, what basically happens, the main defect is that there's a potential that a wheel can come detached from certain cars, the high jet, the A-tray wagon, um, when a screw comes loose. Now, Daih Daihatsu is very clear there have been no accidents due to this defect. The recalls being happened so they could fix it before any potential accidents occur. Toyota, as we know, they've already recalled almost 9 million cars worldwide. This isn't a Toyota brand, but it is an affiliate 51% owned by Toyota, so worth keeping an eye on this. Absolutely. Now, for the first time in 16 years, the world's richest person is not from the United States. Mexican tycoon Carlos Slim has ousted Bill Gates from his perch atop the Forbes magazine billionaires list. Yeah, his father gave him his first bank account. His father was a Lebanese immigrant when he was uh, 12 years old. He invested in his first stock. Uh, it was actually a Mexican bank that was eventually bought out by Citigroup. As of today, Carlos Slim, a Mexican tycoon, has saved $53.5 billion in that piggy bank. Enough money there, Marcus, to, yes, oust Bill Gates and Warren Buffett from their perennial perch atop that Forbes rich list. I may uh, just note that number seven, the first European, only comes in at number seven, Bernard Arnault, the head of a uh, big luxury empire. And uh, the other people rounding out the list, aside from Gates, Buffett, and uh, Carlos Slim, are uh, it's Lachma uh, Mittal, the Indian uh, tycoon. Lakshmi, as, right? Lakshmi Mittal, excuse and Mukesh me. Ambani. And Ambani as well. 29 and $28.7 billion respectively. So no slouches either in that rich list. Absolutely not. Now, according to Forbes, there are currently just over a thousand billionaires in the world and 248 of them are right here in Europe where Paris Fashion Week is in its final day. That's a lot of potential high-spending fashion customers, Doug. Depends who you're talking about, Marcus. If we're looking at, say, the Apple boss, uh, Steve Jobs, known for his signature uh, black turtle necks and his jeans, I don't think the designers are going to be making that money, much money off of him. But, you know, it's interesting because even in tough times, high fashion is never really out of style. We had the uh, 1930s Italian fashion dita Schiaparelli, who always said, even in tough times, fashion's outrageous. Who knows that better than my guest today, Uche Okwanko. And I hope I got the name right. Of course. I did. Yes. Okay. Welcome. Um, Uche is the head of a management and consultancy company here in Paris, which basically advises fashion labels, fashion houses on how to better sell their products. And one of the main strategies right now, you might be a little surprised, revolves around the internet. Of course. And that, that does bring us to the first, we've been in a recession here and we've seen quite a jump, a giant jump in fact, in the number of internet sales in high fashion. Exactly, since 2008, since the beginning of the market crashes in 2008, um, online sales for luxury products, especially for fashion, has actually gone up by more than 100%. Right now it's at 145%, which is, which is surprising to a lot of people. But the reason is because fashion has actually become more fashionable online, so people find it more fashionable to shop on the internet to Today than let's say three years ago because um, online we have more choices many luxury brands are also selling online but more than that uh, people that were a little bit conscious about being seen shopping on the streets especially at the peak of the recession find it more comfortable to shop online um, because it's more discreet because they receive uh, um, the, the packages in their homes in their offices and they don't have to feel guilty walking down the streets with shopping bags so this has actually spurred consumers to buy more Online. And uh, secondly, also people um, feel that they can get bargains on the internet. There is now uh, um, uh, several websites, uh, like sample sale websites, We're for example. We're seeing some of them actually right now yes. on some of the pictures of the campaigns you've helped uh, set up there. Yeah, exactly. Um, several luxury brands, uh, for example, Victor and Rolf, which actually pioneered um, showing virtual fashion shows in 2008, in late 2008, have actually totally embraced the internet because you can reach a wide the audience because it's worldwide because fashion 
fashion is more fashionable and actually there's a, there's a huge interest in fashion today, much more than in the past, mainly because of the internet. Just very quickly, we are looking at that Victor and Rolf campaign right yes. now. We just saw it on the screen. You said this was virtual. They didn't go to the fashion show. It no, was... they ignored the fashion, the fashion week, the physical fashion week, okay. um, and they went online to show for a virtual fashion show for the first time in the fashion industry. This was the, um, during the fashion week in Paris in, in September 2008. And uh, this, this uh, a fashion show was seen by everyone in the world in real time. It's, the video is still online, so you can watch it anytime you want. But um, the real message is that the internet has become a very, very strong um, and powerful engine that drives the fashion forward. And since Victor Rolf did this, several luxury brands, for example, Gucci, have been streaming their, their fashion shows live. Um, in Milan, uh, two weeks ago, the show was seen by uh, millions of people around the world. In real time through four different screens I watched it from my bed I wasn't in Milan but I was able <laughs> to follow catwalk. yes it was virtual catwalk while the real show was going on in, in the physical world so that's great for fashion Vison just Louis Vuitton just uh, streamed uh, his fashion show yesterday on Facebook uh, live in real time and it was seen and commented on by millions of people around the world Burberry last week also showed the, um, the fashion show live mm -hmm. online and actually made it possible for people for the first time to click on the catwalk on the on the models on the catwalk in real time and actually pre-order the products while they were being shown on the wrong way. So this is fantastic for fashion. I have to ask you though, I mean having a presence online though, it's not only about sales for fashion brands online, it's also about luring those customers from the virtual reality into a real physical store, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. Um, the internet and the physical world actually in, in fashion, they work best um, together mm -hmm. because they are not, they can't exist, uh, um, they can exist in isolation. So we're not going to see shops disappear off, oh, off no. the high streets, are we? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. But what we're going to see more is that sometimes the, the shopping experience may start online and end in the store. Sometimes it will begin in the store and end online. So um, the, the key for fashion brands is to provide uh, an experience that is uh, complementary, um, irrespective of the option. To the physical world. Exactly. And very briefly, uh, Uche, we are running out of a bit, bit of time here. Um, where you also do other types of brand development, it's not all internet focused. What are some of the other strategies you advise fashion designers in recessionary times? Well, we advise designers to be very innovative. Innovation is key. Innovation both online and offline, but also innovation in terms of product development. Um, there, Technology is so powerful and there's so much you could do with technology that exists. So, um, for example, um, Vivian Tam, which, who is a, a New York-based uh, fashion designer, has just collaborated with uh, HP to launch the first fashion clutch laptop. If I could actually show, if we could maybe get this on camera to show our viewers, uh, this is a custom designs, right, yeah. laptop, the first exactly. fashion laptop. Can we maybe get the camera on this? It's uh, by Vivian I Tam. I need to show the outside Here we well, go and look, at, look at the, the outside here. The outside. So Mine's like, just a, a black black laptop, you know? I mean, look at this thing. It's it makes my, I'm a, my like Mac look pretty, boring. The first fashion <laughs> laptop you saw it here first on France Vanka? Exactly, and it's a clutch, and it's, uh, it's actually smaller than an A4 size piece of paper. It's highly functional. Um, it does everything your, your mainstream uh, um, computer is able to do. And there's a second collection that will be launched uh, in just uh, less than two months. I, I just have to ask you this though. I guess it costs a little bit of money to get your laptop uh, customized like this. Well, anything Price fashionable of the computer. is worth it. <laughs> it's worth it as well. We are we are coming to the very end here, uh, Uche Kwanko. But I just do want to mention, I'm going to give your book a little plug before you go, because Thank it is you. very relevant to today's theme. If we can maybe uh, show this as well, Luxury Online. Uh, it's out here in English, um, and it just came out, in fact. And as the name suggests, it's about luxury online. Exactly. Is that a good description exactly, of the book? Yes. Uh, very good. Uh, Uche Kwanko. I do thank you very much for coming today. Thank uh, you very much for inviting helping me. Helping us wrap up uh, Paris Fashion Week in thanks high virtual style. Thank All you right, very Uche, much. Once again, thanks very much, Douglas. Also, thanks to you. With that, we're going to wrap it up for now here from the newsroom. Do stay with us. There's more. There are more headlines coming your way very soon.